horseback riding? Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. All right. That makes sense. I mean, I've never heard the word, so I don't know what it means. But it makes sense with a picture on the lesson book. So, good. Can you start with just a C major scale, please? That's what I just did earlier. Okay. <laughs> staccato so those were really good that's something hard to do different things in different hands at one time so that was good your opening was good you got all the rhythms very well done in one week <clears throat> good job and at the bottom you circled a a b a in the coda tell me where's the coda good and what is a coda do you know what it is i know what it is but I don't. Okay. a coda is just like an extra ending off the end so we have our a section and our B section, and then the A comes back, and coda, yeah, 
<laughs> our A comes back, and the coda is just something after the A section, but it's different than both A and B. Okay? Cool. So it's like that. Kind of, but it doesn't form as, or it doesn't function as like a whole section of the piece as its own theme. It kind of takes from, like this part here, it takes from A, but it's not the full A. And it takes a little bit from B, but it's not a full B. So it's just an ending section. Okay. I like to work on, in this piece, adding extra dynamics and extra like excitement. You got all of these staccatos, which is good, but I want to add extra accents here too. Can we try, on the beginning of each phrase, dropping with our wrists and with our arms and with our back? So everything we're got because it's forte and it has a staccato and it has an accent. So it has three different things. So when we go, we're just gonna go. Can you try dropping like that? your arms, your shoulders, and your back, okay? Awesome. Have you ever seen Grace Betry play? Do you know Grace Betry? Yeah. Okay, she plays with like her whole body and it's really fun to watch. She plays with her head too and she like, her head's always going. So if she were to play this song, you'd be like, bum, ba, da, da, bum, 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 bum. It's really cool. And playing with your head kind of helps you get into the mood of the piece. So yeah, it's really good. I'd like us to look at this piece, Land of the Silver Birch. One thing I want us to work on first right now is from here to here we go. I want to work on floating your wrist up, kind of breathing after that A and moving to this one. So watch one more time. I like the use of the pedal, good, because the pedal's throughout. Can you try? So float your wrist. Good. Can you try between these two? So you're not going to float up, but I still want you to, like, remember we practiced taking breaths in between in our other piece with our taking breaths with our wrists, so... So I'm just going to put 
a little like, what should I put for the climax? How about just like a little asterisk? That's where our climax is, okay? And then from there we go back down. Can you do that one more time? to a piano. So can you play the end of this mezzo forte, go back and play piano. So, what part is this? so start here again, play it mezzo forte, and then start the piano verse, just the first note. right here because we have the two crossing over and, and that is difficult because you're going yeah F to D right can you start here and play to right there too much because then your hand is going to be out of position. Try it one more time. Good. You kind of have to let your wrist lead a little bit. Can you use your other hand and pull your wrist forward? maybe like the first couple days you practice, pull your wrist so that you can just feel what that feels like, okay? Pull your wrist. Yeah. To connect the notes. Awesome. All right, and we did Cossack Ride, and that one we're doing the accents. Can you take out the technique book, technique artistry book? We did page 12 and 13, the tropical fish in the can can. And what are you doing in this piece? What are you working on?
Right. Can you show me that one more time? Moving your wrist through the chord. So rather than like starting here and moving, you could go. So it's one continual motion. Can you try letting it drop and then come back out? So can you block them and move up and down? Yep, keep your wrist moving the whole time. Can you do some of the left hand? Broken or broken?
kind of arrangement thing of Amazing Grace. How they changed that, isn't it? But cool. Good job. All right. We had, I want us to take a look at this one. It's another Christmas piece. It's really, really fun. Miss um, Cheetah pulled this out for me. Do you know uh, Carol and the Bells? I think so. Yeah. I have to erase a bunch of this stuff, but, so, it starts. So, before we look at that, <laughs> can you go like this? B, A, D, F, B, A, D. got to get in your head but Thank you. 